Okay, let's go, Steve. If we could draw you out a little bit more on the, the advice on face mask, uh, yeah. what do what would people gain from wearing a mask, and why are you opposed to wearing one yourself? Well, I just don't want to wear one myself. It's a recommendation. They recommend it. Uh, I'm feeling good. I just don't want to be doing, I don't know, somehow sitting in the Oval Office behind that beautiful Resolute desk, the great Resolute desk, I think uh, wearing a face mask as I greet presidents, prime ministers, dictators, kings, queens, I don't know, somehow I don't see it for myself. I just, I just don't. Uh, maybe I'll change my mind, but uh, this will pass, and uh, hopefully it'll pass very quickly. Now, with that being said, if somebody wants to, uh, I mean, most people can just make something out of a certain material. So it's very well designated. It's very simple to do. Uh, I won't be doing it personally. It's a recommendation. Okay? And, uh, would you like to say something about that? Sure. Absolutely. Surgeon General, please. Well, thank you, Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, Mr. Secretary, and CDC Director Redfield. I especially want to thank the folks at the CDC. And it's a great question that you ask. It's a fair question that you ask. I want to unpack the evolution of our guidance on masks because it has been confusing to the American people. First of all, I want people to understand that the CDC, the World Health Organization, my office, and most public health and health organizations and professionals originally recommended against the general public wearing masks because based on the best evidence available at the time, it was not deemed that that would have a significant impact on whether or not a healthy person wearing a mask would contract COVID-19. We have always recommended that symptomatic people wear a mask because if you're coughing, if you have a fever, if you're symptomatic, you could transmit disease to other people. What has changed in our recommendation? Well, it's important to know that we now know from recent studies that a significant portion of individuals with coronavirus lack symptoms. They're what we call asymptomatic. And that even those who eventually become pre-symptomatic, meaning that they will develop symptoms in the future, can transmit the virus to others before they show symptoms. This means that the virus can spread between people interacting in close proximity. For example, coughing, speaking, or sneezing even if those people were not exhibiting symptoms. In light of this new evidence, CDC recommends and the task force recommends wearing cloth face coverings in public, public settings where other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain. Uh, these, these include places like grocery stores and pharmacies. We especially recommend this in areas of significant community-based transmission. It is critical, and the president mentioned this, the vice president mentioned this. It's critical to emphasize that maintaining six feet of social distancing remains key to slowing the spread of the virus. But CDC is additionally advising the use of simple cloth coverings to slow the spread of the virus and to help people who may have the virus and do not know it um, tra from transmitting it to others. The cloth face coverings recommended are not surgical masks or N95 respirators. Those are critical supplies that must continue to be reserved for healthcare workers and other medical first responders as recommended by the current CDC guidance. As the president also mentioned, cloth face coverings fashioned from household items or made at home from common materials at low cost can be used as an additional voluntary public health measure. This recommendation complements and does not replace the president's coronavirus guidelines for America, 30 days to slow the spread, which remains the cornerstone of our national effort to slow the spread of the virus. CDC is always, always looking at the data. We've told you that from the beginning. Dr. Burke says it every single press conference. We're looking at the data. We're evolving our recommendations, and new recommendations will come as the evidence dictates. So I want to say if you do choose to wear a face mask, very important. Wash your hands first because you don't want to put on a face covering with a dirty hand. Do not touch your face while you are wearing the face covering because, again, you could take materials from the surface, germs from the surface, and bring it to your face. If you choose to wear a face covering, please, please leave the N95 mask, the medical supplies for the medical professionals, healthcare workers, and frontline workers. Know that this is not a substitute for social distancing. And remember, this is all about me protecting you and you protecting me. 
This is about us coming together as communities. And if people voluntarily choose to wear a face, uh, face covering, they're wearing it to protect their neighbors from getting the coronavirus, because again, they could have asymptomatic spread. So, Mr. President, thank you very much for that. Appreciate the opportunity to update everyone.